all here at Bright Agritech, we've been wanting to talk about really cool projects that we hear about going on in the community, whether it's the aquaponic community, going on in schools, uh, going on in places around the United States. And uh, so we thought that we'd start another series here. Um, just, it's basically kind of a, a shout out or a, uh, a spotlight um, series that's just going to kind of, uh, you know, talk about cool projects that we hear about or that we see. So uh, one of the first projects we want to talk about is uh, the project at North Oshkosh High School. Um, a teacher there, Oliver Shankton, has, uh, has, I guess, a number of students that are working on some really neat aquaponics stuff up there. Uh, from what we hear, it's pretty cool stuff. It's all student-led, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not often that people have the motivation and uh, kind of the follow-through to just keep plugging away and learning this stuff, especially high school students. So um, from what we hear, they're doing some amazing stuff. Oliver's uh, told us a little bit about it. Hey guys, my name is Oliver Shankton. I sent an email recently about our where I teach at this communities program, a project-based program at Oshkosh North High School in Wisconsin, and we did a sustainability unit, and our students were absolutely pumped to the max. I mean, they loved it. And they went out and like they stayed every day until 8 or 9 o'clock after school and they were working on setting up a big system and they'd watch every one of your videos and they, they absolutely love watching your videos and getting information from it, which is wonderful. And I see it as like the, the best teaching tool and the most excited I've seen students be about a topic in a long, long, long time. And I've always been passionate about hydroponics and aquaponics, so I'm excited to see them happy. So uh, we, we heard that you guys had some issues with your system recently and uh, I just wanted to encourage you guys you know if if uh, I had a dollar for every fish I killed well I'd I'd, I'd have uh, several hundred bucks by now um, you know failing is part of the process and uh, we learn through failure and I think w one of the big problems today is that when we fail we just kind of want to quit and we just want to uh, cash out and walk away but the reality is is that uh, as disappointing and as hard as failures are, the reality is is that failures teach us really important stuff. And um, I do boneheaded things even now, you know, with this system, um, it's probably one of the best design systems I've ever had. And I still do boneheaded things on a regular basis. Several months ago, I, for some reason, I turned off water to my pumps and I left my uh, heating piping going and I came back and I killed, oh, probably two or three hundred pounds of fish and a couple of my tanks. So just completely operator error. Um, but you know, it, I learned from that and I composted 300 pounds of, of perfectly good tilapia. Um, some of them were big honkers. Some of the ones I'd had in there for a really long time. And um, it's, always, it's always a disappointment. It's really hard to see something you've worked so hard for just kind of fall to pieces. But the important thing to remember is that it's not over. You could turn around and correct the problem. You can improve on it and you can walk away from the problem. Um, it, it's a setback for sure, but you can walk away with a better system with it's got high you know better integrity and uh, most importantly um, you learn how to respond to failure and uh, you, you get to learn firsthand what it's like to make lemonade out of lemons and that you know is is such an important not just an important part of life but really an important part of aquaponics you know you guys are are doing something at the ground floor uh, you, you're groundbreaking uh, there isn't a whole lot of people out there with with the guts or the excitement um, or the motivation to really get out there and do what you guys are doing. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind as you deal with setbacks, as you deal with system failures, as you bump into problems that are really hard to understand, um, whether it's system chemistry, whether it's, you know, balancing the ecology of the system. Um, all this stuff is... Uh, it's hard to learn. There's no way around it. It's really hard. You know, um, it's taken me a decade <laughs> of doing this now um, to learn what I've learned so far. And it will probably take, um, you know, from here on out, it will take people a lot less time because people keep building on things. So that's, it. that's just an important thing to remember. It's a part of the process. And remember that you're going to leave everything a lot better than you found it. Whether it's discovering something new about your system and building resilient systems or, um, you know, whether it's something you end up passing on to someone else. Uh, it's going to improve lives and it's uh, going to do great stuff. So keep up the good work. 
don't be disappointed. Um, learn how to pick yourselves back up, look at your system and, and figure out how to, how to make it even better. So uh, good job, good work, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing your guys' system someday. For all of you other viewers that are doing really cool stuff with aquaponics, uh, send us an email or, uh, or, or shoot us a line and just let us know what you're doing. And uh, we'd love to highlight your project uh, at some point as well. You've got some stains on your shirt. <laughs> Keeping it classy. <laughs> you know what school they're at? Keep it classy, San Diego. North Oshkosh High School.